Well, my friends, it's good to see you again, and welcome back. And we finally got the word from Father Archbishop that we can uh, we can start moving forward. And uh, it's it's been it seems like it's been forever since we've been together. And uh, you know, this is a good time for us to start start small and get ready and 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 slowly get back to where we were before. So it's so good to have you. And we've been making some plans both at uh, St. Monica and St. Thomas. And I'll have Father Jason from St. Thomas and uh, Father Jason from St. Monica to help us figure out uh, how each place is going to look, okay? Uh, the driving factor behind this plan was to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to come to Mass and everybody is safe coming to Mass. And I know there's some of you out there who are still like, Father, I, I just I just can't do it right now. It's, it's just too unsafe. I'm too sickly. And, you know, that's fine. Archbishop has given permission for anybody who's in those categories. He's dispensed you, which means excused absence from Mass for a while, at least until Assumption, which is August 15th, and maybe longer, depending on uh, how things progress. And and that's the other thing I want to say before we talk about the plan is, you know, this plan might work. This plan is a little crazy. I, I admit that. But it may have to change. It may have to change because it doesn't work correctly, or it may have to change because things in Archbishop's uh, worry box might change too. So we'll just have to see how things go. So what we're going to do is we're going to split each Mass in half, okay? So for example, if you come to 4 o'clock Mass on Saturday night, what I want you to do is if your last name starts with A through M, I want you to come a half an hour early. So Mass for you guys will start at 3.30. And then the second half of the alphabet, your Mass will start at 4.30, okay? Now, what that's going to help us do is two things. One, it's going to cut down, uh, you know, get us to be able to spread out a little bit more. And Father Jason from St. Thomas is going to show you some pictures of how that's going to look. But the other thing is, you know, we'll try to be spread out as much as we can, but get in there and get us back to church, you know, get us back, get us ready and get us praying together again, which I have missed tremendously. And I know the Father Jason, both Father Jasons have uh, missed that as well. This, uh, the thing that I want to say the most, though, is for Mass, we're going to do things just a little bit differently for Mass. Uh, we're not going to sing because it's hard to sing with those masks on. And, and you know, there's some there's some some scientific evidence that singing has some issues with the with the with transmission of the virus and other things so we're going to go ahead and just let singing go until july 4th and we'll continue doing all this process until the weekend of july 4th we'll still do all the essential parts of mass that are required but we will do communion just a little bit differently so deacon and i or De me and another minister will receive and then you all will receive after the final prayer. So that way you can come up and immediately exit church because for two reasons. One, we have to maintain that distancing as much as we can. And we also need to uh, get ready for the next mass because we got to do a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of cleanup, get the chairs, you know, kind of straightened a little bit and, and get things reset. So that's just some things I wanted to talk about on the top. But uh I wanted to put up the infographic, and I think you can probably see it now. And uh, we're going to post this on Facebook and, and on both websites, and we'll be doing an email as well uh, to get all this information out to help you. Because I know it's confusing. It's weird. Like, for example, at St. Monica. So St. Monica's Mass starts at 9 o'clock, and so the first half will come at 8.30, and then the second half will come at 9.30. For the 11 o'clock Mass, the first half will come at 10.30, the second half will come at 11.30. And then for all you folks who join us for the 6.30 Mass, some of you uh, are not my St. Thomas people yet, but I'm still working on you. And some Monica folks as well come over, and uh, you can always join our team whenever you're ready. Half of you will come at 6, and half of you will come at 7, okay? And I think this will work out. It'll be kind of tight. It's going to be kind of tight, especially me getting from Monica back to Thomas. And that's why it's going to be so essential to keep us on time and for people to come in quickly, um, pray beautifully and then leave beautifully. And finally, one more thing I wanted to say before we go from this segment, before we go to St. Monica and check with Father Jason at St. Monica, is to say um, we're only going to open the doors 10 minutes before each Mass because we're not supposed to have long periods where people are just hanging around because that gets people to break, break the social distancing and just won't work very well. So we got to obey the time limits, and I know some of you like to come and pray. You just... 
for this six weeks. You kind of have to pray at home and then go home and finish your prayers at home as well. And I know that's not the best situation, but that's just about the best we can do at this point. So that's where we are at this point. Um, I hope it works. I really think it will. I've been thinking about it, praying about it. I talked to both parish councils and they have said, well, let's give it a shot, Father, see what happens. So who knows? But I, I, I feel confident in it and I'm going to work really hard. And I know both deacons, I talked with them and they're, they're ready to go too. So so let's get into the details. And uh, I'm going to invite Father Jason from St. Monica. There he is. Hey, Father Jason. Uh, he's not paying attention yet, but that's okay. Uh, Father Jason from St. Monica is going to talk about some specific Monica things. And I want to show you, you know, kind of give you a visual um, of how St. Monica is going to look and some, and some procedures there. So Father Jason, are you ready? Excellent. It's good to see you. And I'm going to pass it over to Father Jason. And hopefully he doesn't forget anything. You never know, though, about that, Father Jason. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we're back here at St. Monica, and it's so it's so exciting to be able to know, like, you're coming. You're coming very, very soon. And so I want to take a few minutes to talk about all the stuff that we've been planning to make sure that you're safe. And most importantly, what I was most worried about was to get everybody here and give everybody a chance to worship on Sunday. So let's talk about a few things that are uh, St. Monica-specific. So that way, St. Monica folks, when you get here, you'll know exactly what to do. The first thing you'll see when you come in is the baskets at the doors. And uh, so if you're ready to start your collection again, if you could just drop your collection in either basket, either door. Also at both of those doors, we will have uh, the bulletins because we can't really pass out stuff because we don't want to have hand-to-hand -hand contact with stuff. So you'll have to pick up your own bulletin. But don't leave it in the pew when you leave because that'll create something else for somebody to clean up, okay? Yeah, and then uh, some other things we need to think about is I know some of you have your favorite pew, and your pew almost has your name on it. And during Mass, I've been in watching and saying, like, ah, oh, I know who sits where. But for a couple weeks, for this first six weeks, you may not be able to sit in your own favorite pew. And I know that's going to hurt, and and but – you know, think about what's going on. We're trying to get people in here, and, you know, we may have some visitors from other churches who uh, maybe their church can't open yet, or their schedule just didn't match up. So the, on each pew, I haven't done it yet because I haven't found the right stuff. i got to run to Walmart, but we'll have some a green ribbon or a green yarn on, this, on the pews that are open. And so we just ask you to use your common sense, and, you know, households sit close together, but then make some space as you go down. And so We'll use the loft and we'll use down here. Now, something you're also going to notice when you get here is all the missalettes and hymnals and, and all that stuff is gone because we can't have stuff that you touch because it creates something else we have to sanitize. So it just helps tremendously for this first six weeks because we won't have choir because we can't, you know, I can't sing anyway, but you can't sing with your mask on. So that'll be difficult. But, you know, we'll try to get that back in July unless, you know, unless Archbishop uh, gives us a different directive. But for right now, we're just doing like a you know a modified shorter mass. And one of the most important things I'm going to say a couple times in this video, if you watch the whole thing, is that for communion, Deacon and I will receive at the time of communion that we normally receive. But then we'll go on and say the prayers and conclude mass. And then when you all come to receive communion, you'll exit as soon as you receive communion. So make sure you bring your purses, and I don't think you'll need your coats on Sunday because it's supposed to be uh, getting warmer finally. But make sure you're ready to go so that way everybody can get to their cars safely and stay distance and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll be ready to wipe you know, the windows, not the windows, <laughs> wipe the knobs down and wipe the handles and stuff. Now, we can't clean everything, okay? And that's just, that's just the fact that you know, we don't have enough time nor do we have enough supplies. So we'll take care of the door handles and the toilet handles and the, and the uh, sink handles. But if you want to use hand sanitizer for your hands, we're asking you to bring it yourself. Of course, there is soap and water in the bathrooms, which is just as good as anything else. Uh, but if you need hand sanitizer or you want to wipe down your pew here at St. Monica where you're going to sit, you need to bring those wipes with you and take them home with you as well because we just can't find a good enough supply to take care of everything every single time. But we still want to get you here and get you here safely. So we're going to take care of the things that people touch every time. So I think that I've concluded everything. Let me look at my notes just to make sure. Sorry, I should have had those with me. 
Uh, ministers, oh yeah. So I'm going to be sending an email and posting on Facebook here pretty soon. Uh, some ministers that we need, we'll need some ministers. We'll need some people to kind of watch the baskets and, and help people as they come in. We'll need some ushers to kind of help people. Uh, we'll need one lector, okay, one lector to read for the lector thing. But we won't need an altar server for right now. We'll just need a sacristan. And to remind you also about Eucharist, and I probably will say this a couple times as well, we're not going to touch, the only person that's going to touch the Eucharist is the priest and the deacon and you, okay? So we're going to like take them and pour them out of the bag without counting, and then we will continue. We'll do that uh so that way there's no t extra touch, okay? So I think that's everything, Father Jason, um, that we have to talk about from St. Monica. Uh, I was trying to think, is there anything else? Can you think of anything else that, um, that I forgot? Did I forget anything? Yeah, I think he did pretty good. I can't think of anything he forgot. If not, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it here in a minute. You know, I, I am the one in charge. You know, that, that's, that's the way that works. Yeah, okay. All right, well, thanks, Father Jason. Appreciate it. So now we've heard from St. Monica and uh, working through those. And so now we're going to turn it over to Father Jason, who's at St. Teresa Hall. Um, he's not ready yet. We'll wait, we'll wait just a second to get him ready. And uh, he's going to talk some other things. And, and St. Teresa Hall is going to look a little bit weird to you folks. But uh, I, I think it'll make sense. And as soon as you get here, I think it'll make perfect sense. So, Father Jason, you ready? Okay, excellent. Well, Father Jason from St. Thomas. And we'll let him get get us uh, up to date on uh, what's going on at St. Teresa Hall. All right. Take it away, Father Jason. It is going to be so great to have you back. And I know you heard from Father Jason from way over there, over there at St. Monica. Uh, so welcome to St. Teresa Hall. So what I wanted to do today was, you know, kind of did what Father Jason did over there at St. At St. Monica was to get you oriented to St. Teresa Hall. But, you know, I noticed today when I first walked in, it's a little intimidating <laughs> And so I'll, I'll show you because it's, it's just a lot of chaos, it seems like, with the chairs. But I wanted to tell you what was going on and show you some different angles. So it's like, oh, I see what's going on because we wanted to give, you know, opportunity because some people come to church as, as just their self. And some people come in twos and threes and fours and fives. And so we've kind of organized St. Teresa Hall in that way and uh, gotten people spread out, but also sitting by household. So that's going to be one of the hardest things for people to do is again, your seat is probably not where your seat is supposed to be. And so we have to be a little bit flexible for this six weeks, you know, and uh, especially when we're first coming in, you know, to try to sit in a space that's good for you and good for how many people are in your car. So as, a, as I'm going to show you in just a second, there's a places for like uh, six family, you know, people that are six in a car over here and then five in a car over here, and I'll show you those pictures, and then spread out or in the middle, we have the middle of the ones, the single folks, and then twos and threes and fours kind of spread out here, and, and threes along, the, you know, there's lots of threes of you, and, and uh, then some pairs along the wall. So just to give everybody a chance to, you know, I know it's not your favorite place to sit, and I know it's not the place that you normally sit, but it'll get us back to church. And, I, and that's what has been the, the primary driver for me is to get us back here and get us back together, praying together. And hopefully after this six weeks or so of this weird modified schedule, we'll get there. And so this, that's one of the, first, the biggest hurdles, I think, for coming back to St. Thomas and Teresa Hall is this whole chair alignment thing. So that's what is uh, primarily different between Monica and Thomas. But uh then let me show you some other things about St. Uh, St. Teresa Hall. So, for example, the collection baskets, uh, they'll be at the front doors as you come in and uh, just drop your stuff in. And the bulletins will also be there by the baskets because, again, as Father Jason said, we can't really hand those things out, but you can take them and uh, we'll try to keep a good supply there. But we just can't hand them out because we don't want to transfer anything the best we can. The other thing we want to talk about is cleaning here at St. Teresa Hall. And so if you or feel like you need to clean your chair, we just we don't have the right supplies. We don't have enough supplies to clean every chair every single time. And really, the chairs aren't touched that much. So I think it'll be OK. But if you're really worried about your chair, make sure you bring something, a hand wipe or something to wipe it off really quickly before you sit down. And then same thing with your hands. You know, we have enough hand sanitizer for 
for me and Deacon and for the sacristan, but we just, we can't find enough for everybody. So if you feel like you need hand sanitizer, uh, if you could bring that with you as well, that would be perfect. You know, we do have soap and water and I'll turn the hot water back on, even though it's still leaking, but we'll get it there. And uh, there's hot water and good hot soap and water, you know, even your best defense. So that'll be always available as well. But I think it's safer actually to have your own hand sanitizer if that's something that you need. And then don't forget your mask as well. I think, I don't know, I don't have mine in my pocket. I was going to show you mine. But uh, let's see, make sure I got everything. I know Father, Father Jason over there at Monica, he, I don't think he forgot anything, but I don't want to mess up either. Uh, minister, oh, yeah, ministers for Teresa Hall is basically the same thing as St. Monica, except for we will need a media person for each of the, each of the six masses that will be here in Teresa Hall. And then just a reminder again about how Mass is going to be different. So we'll complete all the prayers of the Mass, Deacon and I will receive. And then at the end of Mass, after the dismissal, we'll come forward and then process all the way directly out once you've received communion. Uh, we can't stand around and talk. I wish we could, but we're just not ready for that yet. But uh, it'll just be so good to see you that I'm so happy just to see you and, and wave from a distance. So That'll be, it'll be a little awkward here at very first, but once we get to July 4th, we'll at least be able to greet each other much better, and then eventually back to fist bumps and hand bumps and, and uh, elbow bumps. I don't know if we can go back to handshaking. We'll have to figure that out. And then just some other things about Mass. So we will skip uh, the sign of peace. I'll do uh, the Lord be with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> May the peace of Christ be with you always and with your spirit. And then the deacon would normally do that part he does but we're going to skip directly to the Lamb of God. So that way, um, we'll just share it spiritually, okay? And then I think I think that's everything. Question bulletin, but you have to clean this. Yeah, I think that is. So like I said, St. Teresa Hall looks a little different, but I think we can manage, and I, I think we'll, we'll do really well. And I think I have enough chairs, even if some extra folks come, I think we'll be okay. That is a reminder, though, for both places that when we get close to capacity, we will put a sign on the door or when time for Mass is that is, it'll say full and next Mass available, and we'll have those signs out there. The next Mass could be, uh, you know, 45 minutes later or so at the same spot, or it may say, here's another choice somewhere else. So we want to get as many people as possible, so we're going to offer uh, the six Masses here at St. Teresa Hall and then the two Masses at Monica. So I think we can get everybody for that. Um, are you ready over there? Okay. Now, uh, I, I think I covered everything, but, you know, I know you'll check me and make sure, you know, that he's in charge, right? So make sure I got everything. And uh, thank you again for the opportunity to talk. And it's been really good to share with people what's going on. And I, I, know, I know I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. I don't know about him. You know, he's kind of weird sometimes, but. Thanks, Father Jason. I, I think you got it. I, I can't think of anything that either Father Jason forgot. Um, but they both did a good job. So thank you, Father Jason, and thank you, Father Jason, for something, Annika. Appreciate that very much. So, you know, I think we're ready. You know, I, I feel like we are. And, and, you know, if you don't feel like you are, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we'll continue to pray. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if either Father Jason mentioned this. But we'll continue to do daily Mass online. We won't do daily mass live until July the 7th because we need time to – I need time to uh, record the masses um, each day and then the Sunday mass as well because some people will, will not be able to join us on Sunday. So they'll still need a Sunday mass. So I'll need some time to do that, and then we just need to let things kind of open up a little bit more, and then hopefully by July 4th we can be back to regular schedule and getting things right. The other thing I wanted to mention again, if either of those guys mentioned this – was uh, hands. Um, if you need hand sanitizer, um, I, I really need you to bring your own because I think it's safer that way if you have your own bottle that only you touch and you use for your hands. And then also, uh, if you want to wipe your chair or wipe your pew, because we'll take care of wiping down the knobs and toilet handles and, and all those other things that a lot of people touch. You know, But for your pew and your chair, if you want to wipe it down before you get there, you need to bring some of that stuff because we just don't have enough enough stuff to do all that cleaning every single time. So we had to kind of conserve that because it's been hard to find that stuff, just like you know. 
has been hard to find that stuff anywhere. So I think that really takes care of it. So uh, I did want to finish with prayer, and I want to bring the guys back in. And so in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Did you know he knew how to pray? Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we better get ready. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I didn't know he knew how to pray. You just can't win with this crowd, you know? L listen to them. Well, you know, Father Jason from St. Monica way over there, I wondered if he remembered how to pray. Well, anyway. It sounds like he did. Well, let's let's see if he's going to do it right, together, okay? My friends. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many gifts of this day. We thank I thank you so much for the gift of both parish communities who are working together and we're trying to get everything done. Dear Lord, we pray for this restart of Mass. We pray that each one of us will be safe. We pray for all those who have perished because of this virus and all who are still sick and, and those who are really worried. We pray for all those, Lord, and we give them to you, knowing that you hear and answer them. Protect each of our families, all the Monica families and the Thomas families, as we come back together and as we continue this journey together. We pray for all of our graduates from both parishes and all of our graduates from Nelson County in general who are you know, working through this weird time and trying to figure out things, and we're all kind of in it together. So let us pray for each other, Lord. Help us to hold each other, and most importantly, Lord, let us look to you when we are worried, concerned, afraid. In your name we pray, amen. And I bless you all in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My friends, it's been so good, and I'm going to give each guy, uh, well, maybe not this Father Jason. I'm not sure. I'll give the Monica Father Jason some more time. To, to say one more thing. Can you believe he's going to give me one last word? Wow, I'm so impressed. You know, he takes all the time, all the time, you know. So anyway, I love you all very much. Take care and God bless you. And gosh, May 23rd, can't get here fast enough. And May 24th as well. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. Bye. Love you. Okay. Okay. What? He gave the St. Monica Father Jason more time. I better get some more time. Do I get some more time? Okay, you can have some. You can have equal time too. Go ahead. Okay, good. Yeah, folks, it's good been good to see you and uh, uh, been praying for you all and and it's so looking forward to the 23rd of May and then as we progress forward to July 4th when we hopefully go back to to regular schedule. So it's good been good to see you. God bless you all and take care and don't for always forget that I love you very much and we'll see you very soon. I hope. All right. God bless you. It has been good to be with you all. Uh, may God continue to strengthen you, keep you. And if you need anything, let any of us know. We'll be glad to answer some questions. Uh, probably you'll need to call me, though, because I'm the one that really knows what's going on. These other two I, I wouldn't trust anywhere. So uh, give me a call. Give me a ring. Uh, text me or uh, Facebook me or call me, whatever you need. Okay? All right. We'll see you soon. God bless you all. We, we all love you very much and take care very much. God bless you. Goodbye.